So here we are doing hip thrust, three way, three way hip thrusts. again in my car don't really have any battery awesome that is great anyway I'm in my car and I'm on my way to Birmingham for the compact event and um, I'm staying there Saturday and the event is on Sunday so I am now on my way there I'm going to meet a few girls today which I'm really excited about because we you know um, I've met them um, on Instagram but we have never really um, seen each other we don't really know much about each other so it's gonna be really interesting and really exciting and head to the hotel in Birmingham and let's see because every time I go to Birmingham I always get a ticket because it's horrible seriously that city is just uh, I hate it hate it but not because of the city I just hate it because of the system for people to drive it's just like you never know when it's like it doesn't tell you when it's a bus lane when it's not and you know sudden ups get crazy it's it's a mess so anyway I'm leaving you there now my battery is at 15% so I literally I don't think I'm gonna talk to you till I get to the hotel and I charge the the camera but yeah mainly the plan is to get to Birmingham um go to train legs with the girls and then yeah that's it and then tomorrow the event so i'll see you in birmingham we made it to birmingham <laughs> we have holly there we're gonna train legs today and we're gonna go to eat somewhere although the poor holly if she's coming she will just come with a container it's prep light, so it's fine, it's fine. So, let's go. I have to say, it took me forever to find good lighting in this gym. It is just so bad. Anyway, let's go.
life. There she is. Four weeks out. Forty weeks out. This is mine. So I got this, and look how cute. It says allergy. Focus. Allergy. That's awesome. Love it. that you have. I did put something on my Instagram yesterday and asked for questions in advance. I got one, which was really great for the person that did submit that question. Thank you. And we will answer it. Um, but really it's a case of you guys asking us what you want to know, whether it be corporate, whether it be post-show, anything really personal experience, anything that you want to know about nutrition um, for your prep, just kind of ask away. Oh man, just out of interest. Okay, we'll see. <coughs> Good. Uh, creatine is one of the only supplements that has a really strong evidence base, so creatine monohydrate. It's one of the few supplements that generally will work for most people. There's a few people that are non-responders that won't get a benefit from it, but mostly you will all benefit in terms of strength, performance and therefore muscle mass. Um, the way, the, I think the fear behind it is that it potentially causes you to uh, retain some water, but the way that it works actually is that it holds your water inside your muscles. So that's what you want. When you step on stage, you want full muscles and you want them to look full. And, and part of that is from carbohydrates and part of that is from water. So actually taking creatine out during peak week will potentially mean your muscles look flatter um, rather than the effect that you want. So if you take creatine, continue to take it all the way through and it's a really, really useful supplement to take. Yeah. That's pretty much covered it off in a nutshell. But yeah, it's... What's your view on uh, like sweetening use during prep? Um, would there be a stage of prep in which you would advise putting you know, your sugar free syrups, your jellies, your diet cokes, things like that, or do you advise your clients to maintain those within? So, syrups throughout prep, she says, with a coffee loaded for the one, <laughs> um, absolutely fine in my bag. Um, again, it depends. It's one of those, I think some people, we've probably all overdone it on the calorie free, low calorie stuff at some point, got some bloating. If you can cut it out, this is what I say to my competitors, kind of peak week, you want to feel tight in the midsection, you don't want to be bloated. If you can live without it, great, why not? Um, but there's certainly no reason to be cutting it out. And if you've had it all through your prep and you've been absolutely fine, chances are you'll be fine. But yeah, if you can live without those flavour drops and something in peak week, then why wouldn't you? 